All right, what's up, guys? So we're back. Another discussion here. So I want to talk about, you know, recently we talked about boomers and zoomers. Uh, there's some comments on how it, it's harder to learn fighting games now. You know, it's harder to learn fighting games in the modern era. So I was just thinking about that, and I was thinking about something. So this video, I want to just talk about one specific tool. I think this is the most, uh, I think this is the most underused tool, you know, for getting better at fighting games. So what is it? You know, people, people always talk about, you know, the net play, net play matters so much. And like YouTube, you know, watching YouTube, sub an anime Illuminati is always to get good. But the, the most important feature and something I don't see anybody really talking about, you know, I never see people talking about this except for Zeus. Zeus was in here earlier. I think his name, no, his name is gone, but it's the, right? It's the replay feature. The replay feature is something that's been added recently in modern fighting games, and it's really, really, really good. Really useful. Admittedly, I didn't start using it until this game. So Grand Blue. This is not about Grand Blue. It's about all fighting games. You know, Strive is going to have it. But the amount of data you have just in-game at your fingertips at any time is just ridiculous. So again, talking about how fighting games used to be easier to learn. Like, get the hell out of here, man. Back in the day, if you if you're... If you're old school, if you if you remember this, we do you like I used to go to like websites like this. This is this would be like like a, a fighting game website back in the day. So I'm on some forum trying to find, right? Trying to find uh, some information on this goddamn website from some dude out here. So they get they give me the link. So you got to go on Kazaa. You got to pray to God you can download like a Japanese match. You can download some like one Japanese match without getting like 10 viruses on your thing. And then you get the match and it's like this. You get like this quality, 240p, seven frames per second. The sound only comes out one ear on your left side. Like we, I used to, I used to have to hunt. I used to have to hunt for matches. And I, the worst is I download a match. And then not only that, it would take hours to download a match. So you download a match. Then like, oh my God, you watch it, it's sick. You spend hours downloading another one and it's the same match, just with a different name. You're like, God damn it. But now, in the modern era, you have this replay system. So this, I don't hear anybody talking about this, you know? So Guilty Gear Strive is coming out and we just had like the, the mode breakdown and they mentioned the replay system, right? Nobody really cared. Like I, I, didn't, I don't think I saw a single comment. It's like, oh, replays are great. Replays are great. So. Let me just real quick, let's do, let's watch this one. We won't watch it, I just want to show you. But there's only three on the screen right there, but you can just search by character. You can search by player. You can search by rank. You can search if the character wins or loses, right? You can do, you, it's so easy to find exactly what you're looking for. And these aren't just regular dudes. Like this game forces your replays to go up. So some players try to hide their replays. I remember back in the day, but this is forced now. So I'm watching, you know, I'm watching world champions just net playing and it's not just watching them you know just watching a match is, is very easy but the the features here like see right there that's the most important one you see on the, the right and the left you can see their inputs like that that's insane that is actually insane you can see what buttons these players are pressing at any time at any time so when this game first came out i learned about all these different defensive option selects that all the best players are using just by watching their input right i'm like wait why is he pressing that button? Like, why is he pressing that button while he's down there? Oh, notice how I'm just pausing too, right? You can pause. If they're doing a combo, you pause. Then you look at the input. Like, how did he do that combo? It's like, oh, I see. I got it right there. It's sick. They got slow mode too. So the only the only downside to these, the only downside to in-game replays, which I don't know if they'll be able to fix, is you can't rewind. If you can rewind, like, that's great. But just, just anything, right? So you, you get the point. We're not going to watch the whole match. But just this is something I get a lot, especially in the YouTube comments. It's like, hey, I'm a new player. Uh, how can I get better? Do you have any tips? This is this is my biggest tip for you, right? Stop trying to be the guy who comes up with his own strategy. Stop trying to be the guy who, like, names his own combos or, like, the Mamma Mia, like the Smash. We call it, like, the Mamma Mia. The best way to get good at a fighting game is literally just copy people. I think it's the best way to get good at anything, right? Find people that are better you and just copy what they're doing, right? Just keep copying, copying, copying. Get as much information as you can. And then later you can start adding in your own touch, right? Later you can start adding in your own flair. So I don't want to tell you to stop watching my videos. You should. And you should also sub to the, the Twitch channel. But if your goal is to really get good at a fighting game, if that's your actual motivation, get in the damn replay mode. I can't believe it, man. That's it. So that, that's all I got to say. They, just check it out. Uh, currently, what is it? 
Guilty Gear has it. Blaze Blue has it. Grand Blue has it. Uh, Street Fighter has it. Apparently, you can replay. Tekken has it. I think all, pretty much all the modern fighting games have it. KOF 15? It's coming out. I don't know about that. But Strive. So Strive, they confirmed it's going to be there. So if you're picking up a new game, any of these games, this is without a doubt something I think people need to use more often. So there you go. That's it. That's all I want to say. Hopefully... It'll give you a, a place to start if you're looking on how to improve at fighting games. So, like always, you're still watching. Thank you. Leave a comment. Share your favorite replay. I don't know. The BB tag has it, too. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, peace.